Hello friends, we are going to look at the proof of the Heron's formula in this session. So friends, now let's look at the proof of Heron's formula. So we have this triangle here where with the given sides A, B and C and we drop a perpendicular from vertex A to the side BC and we call it height H. And now this is the perpendicular. Now this perpendicular AD divides BC in to BD which is equal to M and DC which is equal to N. And we use the following formulas. We know that the semi perimeter of the triangle is given by half into A plus B plus C or we could say 2S is equal to A plus B plus C. So if we subtract 2A from both the sides, the left hand side and the right hand side, we get twice of S minus A equal to B plus C minus A. Similarly, twice of S minus B is equal to A plus C minus B and twice of S minus C equal to A plus B minus C. So these are the equations which we are going to use. Now, now if we take the right angled triangle ABD, we can say that A square is equal to H square plus m square just by using the Pythagoras theorem and in the right angle triangle ACD we can say b square is equal to h square plus n square and we also know that n is equal to the side c minus m. Now let's just number these equations for convenience. We'll number this as, as 6, we'll number this as 7 and we'll number this as 8. Five first five equations are written on this uh, rightmost corner. So now if we replace this value of n from equation 8 to equation 7, we get b square is equal to h square plus n square means c minus m whole square and we open it, we get c square plus m square minus 2cm. Now, in equation 6, we know that h square plus m square is nothing but a square. So, we can put this as a square plus c square minus 2cm. So, we are saying b square is equal to a square plus c square minus 2cm and we can say m is equal to a square plus c square minus b square divided by 2c. So this is the value for m. Now if we take the sixth equation, this equation, we, we are saying a square is equal to h square plus m square. So we can also say h square is equal to a square minus m square which is nothing but a minus m into a plus m. So now here we replace the values. We replace the values of m into this equation. And we are going to see what it comes out to be. So we continue with h square equal to a minus m into a plus m and we put the value which is a square plus c square minus b square divided by 2c. So we get 
a minus this value of m into a plus the same value of m. And now we get 2ac minus a square minus c square plus b square and here we get 2ac plus a square plus c square minus b square and whole divide by 4c square. Now we can clearly see here that this I will use a different color here just to highlight this 2ac minus a square minus c square can be written as a minus c whole square and negative of this. So we take this b square here so we get b square minus a minus c whole square and here we get a plus c whole square minus b square and in the denominator we have 4c square. So now we can open this and we can say this is b minus we are using the identity a square minus b square is equal to a minus b into a plus b so we say this becomes b minus a plus c and it get, becomes b plus a minus c and here we get a plus c minus b and we have a plus b plus c so this is all in the numerator divide by 4 c square so using these equation 1 2 3 4 and 5 basically 3 4 and 5 that we use here we get this equal to 2s into 2s minus a into 2s minus b into 2s minus c divide by 4c square. So this is the value of h square. I will write it again here h square is equal to 2s into 2s minus a into 2s minus b into 2 into s minus c divide by 4c square so we can cut this 4 in the denominator by these two twos in the numerator so we can say h is equal to 2 pi c into square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c. So now if we are saying area of this triangle is equal to half into the base which is c in this case into height. So which is if we take this c over here and 2 in the denominator to the left hand side we get the area. So this is equal to 
S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C whole square root. So, this is what the Heron's formula states. And the same, this is the, uh, the triangle that we have taken in this figure seems to be an acute angled triangle. But this same thing can be used, the same approach can be used to prove it for an obtuse angled triangle also. For any type of triangle, we can use the same technique and we will find that this formula, this Heron's formula for finding the area is always true. Friends, I hope you enjoyed the session. If you find it useful, please like it and share it with your friends. You can visit us at our Cool Smart Learning website and post your queries there. And please subscribe to the Cool Smart Learning channel for getting updates on the new sessions. Thank you.